Welcome to German History with a German Accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Adolf Galland. As always, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Adolf Josef Ferdinand Galland was born on March 19th in the year 1912 in Westerholt. In the year 1928, Galland made his first flying experiences with air gliders at the Air Sports Group in Gelsenkirchen. In February 1932, Adolf Galland applied at the Verkehrsfliegerschule in Braunschweig. Verkehrsfliegerschule translated means an air transport school. But in reality, it was a concealed military school, since the Treaty of Versailles explicitly prohibited Germany from having an air force. A year later, Galland started fighter pilot training in Italy. This fact, of course, was also top secret for said reason. In February 1934, he officially joined the 10th Infantry Regiment in Dresden and was promoted to the rank of Leutnant in the same year. A Leutnant is equivalent to a second lieutenant. In the future, I will name the German ranks as well as the English equivalent. Please let me know in the comments if you like that. In the year 1935, when the existence of the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, was officially revealed, Adolf Galland was transferred to the first group of the fighter squadron Richthofen. In October of the same year, during an air artistic show, he crashed his plane, which led to a deformed nose, as well as it impacted his vision. A military physician even grounded him. His superiors did, however, withhold this information and Adolf Galland was allowed to go back up in the air. Since May 1937, he participated in the Spanish Civil War as a member of the Condor Legion where he commanded the 3rd Squadron of the Jagdgruppe J-88, flying on the Heinkel HE-51 fighter. After 15 months, he was replaced by Werner Mölders. When the Second World War broke out, Adolf Galland participated in the Poland campaign, leading a squadron of Henschel HS-123 and became commander of the 4th Squadron at the second group of Lehrgeschwader 2, in English Demonstration Wing 2. On October 1, 1939, Galland was promoted to the rank of Hauptmann, which is equivalent of a captain, and transferred to the Jagdgeschwader 27, Fighter Wing 27. He participated in the West Campaign, where he scored his first three air victories. In June 1940, he was transferred to the Jagdgeschwader 26, Schlageter, Fighter Wing 26, where he first commanded the third group of the wing before he took over command of the wing only a short time later, ranked as a major. Or Major, as it's pronounced in German. About six weeks into the Battle of Britain, on September 24th in the year 1940, Adolf Galland celebrated his 40th air victory. On November 22nd, the same year, he took over the role of General der Jagdflieger, which must not be confused with a promotion to the rank of general, but is merely the position of inspector of fighters. In this position, Galland was responsible for the air support of the ships Scharnhorst, Gneisenau, as well as the Prince Eugen, while they traveled through the English Channel between the United Kingdom and France. After scoring his 94th air victory, he received a second soldier in the Wehrmacht, the diamonds to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, on January 28th in the year 1942. By the end of the same year, he was promoted to the rank of Generalmajor, Major General, at the age of 30, 
making him the youngest general in the Wehrmacht. After Adolf Galland first flew the prototype of the jet-powered Messerschmitt ME-262, he was sure that this plane was needed as a fighter to defend the airspace against the massive air raids flown by the United States Air Force. Adolf Hitler, on the other hand, wished to use this plan as a bomber instead of a fighter. Only under the threat of stepping down, Galland reached his goal and the jet-powered plane was also used as a fighter. In April of the year 1944, Galland was promoted to the rank of Generalleutnant, Lieutenant General, at the end of January 1945, after massive disputes between himself and Hermann Göring, the inspector of fighters was replaced, but on Hitler's intervention received the orders to build a new fighter wing, which would be Jagdverband 44, equipped with the jet-powered Messerschmitt ME-262. By the end of the Second World War, Adolf Galland was in the hospital after he got injured by an American fighter. During the war, he shot down 104 enemy planes. And afterwards, he spent two years as a British prisoner of war and worked as a consultant for the Air Force of Argentina from the years 1948 until 1953, when he returned to Germany and almost became the first inspector of the newly formed Luftwaffe of the Federal Republic of Germany, but he was found to have too strong neo-Nazi leanings. In 1953, he also published his autobiography, The Ersten und die Letzten, The First and Last. On February 9th, in the year 1996, he died at the age of 83.